Before I came here, I was having difficulties in my relationship. Um, had been going on for a while, and that's always something that triggers me a little bit in terms of feeling quite low and quite depressed and not able to manage. Um, so I'd come out to Australia to sort of take a break from that relationship, thinking that would sort it, but when I got here, I still had a lot of this stuff in my head, a lot of the anxiety, worry, where was this relationship going to go? Um, and that's why I decided to do something about it. I've had this in the past and this time I thought I need to take action quicker before I get really low, 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 low. The main support I had were, would have been from friends. I didn't really talk to family about it. Um, yeah, friends of mine were saying to me, you probably need to take time out, sort yourself out. Um, but in terms of coming here to Fountainhead, that was purely my own decision. Um, coming to Australia was the thing that I thought would help, um, but it wasn't until I got here that I thought I need to do something a bit more than just take a holiday. Uh, so the ultimate decision was really down to me. I went on, I've, I've come on the Beat the Blues program um, and I've been here almost three weeks. I actually leave today, I leave in two days time. Um, yeah, I was a bit anxious when I did first arrive, but very quickly settled in because the staff are really supportive. Um, any concerns I had, they were always there to reassure me. Before I come here, my perception was that perhaps the staff will be separate to the guests here. And that's not been the case at all. Every member of staff, you're treated like an individual here, you're treated like an equal, you're not treated like we're, we know more than you. They, they respect that we've all, we're all different, we're all, everybody here has got a journey, everybody's an individual. And you don't feel separate at all, you feel like a, a, a group of people who are there to support each other. Um, even down to the way the staff dress, um, there's no segregation whatsoever. It's, it's really, for me, that was really, that was like a really big thing because part of my issue would have been feeling that other people were better and that's, that's really changed my, my view and made me realise that these people have got a vast amount of, of knowledge but they don't set themselves apart from you. They treat you just like they treat each other. The staff treat you like they treat each other. So the main skills I've picked up here in order to improve my life when I leave here are the lenses, the belief systems, looking at life completely differently. I've got tools I can use when I leave here, which are the lenses, so I, I, I view things very differently now. Um, and there's a lot of support here from the staff in terms of like when I leave here I can contact them. So I feel like I've got a toolbox to take with me. I feel my life is a lot less stressful and will be a lot less stressful when I leave because it's a journey. And everything I, even if there are events in my life that I don't particularly want to happen, I'll, view, I'll be viewing them as a learning experience rather than something that shouldn't happen or should have been different. So for me, it's about embracing every opportunity now and everything that happens in my life happens and that's my experience. I mean, I'm someone different, my life, my journey is different to other people. Well, apart from the surroundings and the tranquility here and the, the sort of, it's almost got like a spiritual feel this place. There's a mass of information here that isn't, from my knowledge, available that I've seen outside. So there's definitely something very different here that you're offered in terms of educating the way we think. Um, yeah, I would t totally recommend coming here. I'd almost like have, have a list of people that I would even say, look, this is the place you perhaps should try out. Um, not wanting to force that onto other people because it's their journey and their choice, but I've definitely got friends and family I think would definitely benefit from it. Yeah, there's just everything here. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not just looking at the way you think, it's about the way you eat, it's about the way, way you look after your body, the way you feel about your fitness and just your overall view of, of you as a person. It's, 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 to me, it, it offers everything. It's a mind, body, soul place here. I have tried other things. I've been to America, I've been to, I've been to a rehab center in London. I've been to uh, another type of re, um, retreat in America. I've been on a Buddhist retreat. I've done mindfulness before. 
I'd gone on a two-month sabbatical, uh, living with uh, in the religious community. Yeah, none, none of it has given me what I got from Fountainhead. So before I came here, I actually felt almost on the verge of suicide. I just felt like I wasn't coping. And I really can't believe the transformation in three weeks. What the difference has been for me, it's been incredible. So my life's definitely changed for the better.